when I come to my home base town of Ohio for Christmas, life feels very overwhelming. Today, I stole gasoline, but hear me out, hear my story. I'm at a park, I'm going to walk, so I'm probably gonna walk as I share the story. But let me just give you some of the backstory. And y'all know I go out, not y'all, some of the people who have been with this channel, Joy Riders, they know sometimes I tend to ramble. All YouTubers do. Okay, so here's how I stole gasoline. I'm in my hometown, my home base of Ohio. And I was at the gas station. Okay, so there's this gas station. You know, we all have places that we frequent regularly. Thornton's is my favorite gas station, but I don't frequent Thornton's. If I'm not near Thornton's, whatever, there's a gas station where some of my family lives and I drive past it, you know, pretty often when I come to this park, actually. And okay, so let me back up first. When I was home before I went to Georgia, I went to my storage. My youngest son was helping me clean out my storage. He found some of my lottery ticket scratch offs. He said, you didn't even scratch off some of these. I said, well, go ahead and scratch it off. So as I'm cleaning out my storage, just straightening it up, he scratches off the tickets. He said, hey, you have some winners. So maybe all together is about $11. I don't know, $3 here, a dollar here, a dollar here. So this gas station that I go to that I pass by, I went into that gas station and I gave the man my tickets. I bought gas that day too, because that was a different day. So I gave the man my scratch off tickets. I paid for my gas. He gave me back the $3 tickets and told me they are in a booklet. He just started yelling. He was like, they come in a booklet. They come in a booklet. What does that mean? They come in a booklet. I have no idea. And he was so animated about it. He said, you have a one, he said, you have a $1 winner. I said, okay, fine. What do you mean it comes in a booklet? He said, they come in a booklet. They come in a booklet. I knew what he meant, but it was, you know, I, I have enough anxiety. I didn't even want to find out. Pay for my gas. I left. So today, and it really, you know, it kind of made me not even want to stop at that gas station anymore. And there was a guy behind me and he was like, I don't even know what he was talking about. I said, that makes two of us. So then, okay, today I am going to, I am Today, I am going to pass in this gas station. The gas station has really cheap gas, gas price, right? I said, forget it. Yeah, he yelled at me the other day, but, you know, maybe it won't be the same person working or maybe whatever. So, I go in the gas station and I buy my gas. I get $27 worth of gas. 27 is what the cash that I had in my wallet. So, I got $27 worth of gas. I go in there and I pay. I come out. I fill up my gas. It gives me $26 worth of gas, not $27 like I paid. Now, some of these stores, some of these mom and pop stores, and this is a fact, they don't itemize your receipts and they, they cheat. Some people cheat you because they don't itemize your receipts. And I'm not saying this gas station or I'm not accusing mom and pop gas stations of doing this, but some of y'all know what I mean. So I go back in there and I go, I pay for $20, $27 worth of gas. And I know it was just a dollar, but it is a dollar. It is my dollar. And I do work currently hard for my green money. Okay. So I go back in there and I said, I pay um, um, $27. He said, what pump are you on? Oh, he's all, you know, mean or whatever. And I'm like, well, I'm on pump six. And he's like, okay, go back out there, hang the pump up, and then I'll reissue a dollar. Okay, so as I'm going out, I'm telling this man that's going in the gas station, like, be careful because they're like cheating people. Because, again, we have experience with these mom and pop stores. You know what I'm talking about. But I don't want anybody talking. Let's not bash anybody in this video. So I go out to the pump and I'm talking to the man and he's agreeing with me. Like, yeah, they do cheat you here. Da, da, da. So I'm filling up and as I'm filling up the dollar, it was going to $10. And I'm talking to him, so I'm not paying attention. So then I say, the man said, is your pump still going? Because he know I told him it cheated me a dollar. And I was like, the pump is still going. It's still going. Excuse me. And then he was like, well, just fill it up. And I'm like, oh my God. But anyway, it kept going. So it only took, ironically, 27 more dollars. So maybe the man thought that I said it. I told him it cheated me out of a dollar, but I don't know. So anyway, I was nervous, so nervous, nervous, nervous. Like, should I go back in there? What should I do? The man was like, just leave. So he's like encouraging me. This is like bad behavior, but that's okay. So I left, right? 
We went to the store and I'm at the park now and I've walked at the park. I'm about to walk at the park. So, but I'm thinking about it though. You know, I didn't pay for the gas. And the reason why, this is the reason why I wouldn't pay the store back. I'm going to tell you the reason why I wouldn't. And I'm going to tell you the reason why I would. The reason why I wouldn't pay the store back is because that man yelled at me. He's very nasty. I always stop at the store. Going, They all are very nasty in there. And I'm very polite. I'm easy going. So, um, so that's the reason why I wouldn't pay him back because he yelled at me about the lottery tickets. Okay. Then the reason why I would pay him back is because I believe in karma. I do believe in doing the right thing. So at my, as I'm older, <laughs> not always when I was young, but I do now as an older person. So um, that's the reason why. But y'all let me know in the comments, do you think I should go back and pay the man the $27? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to know what y'all think. I, I want to interrupt this video for a second. I noticed in the video, I keep saying mom and pop stores. Well, mom and pop stores, when I was growing up, bring about warm and fuzzy feelings. These are gas stations operated by people who I assume aren't from America. I'm not here to bash people um, who come to America for the American dream, but it is an insult when you don't treat people as you would want to be treated. So Y'all let me know y'all thoughts. I'm about to enjoy some time at the park and my new Fitville shoes. Review coming soon of my new Fitville shoes. And whatever you do and however you do it, always, 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 always take the joy route.